Hello, my name is Cheryl Wilson and I am an abstract expressionist painter. I wanted to share with you in this course two paintings that I go from the blank canvas all the way through to the end of the canvas. This course is called Abstract Painting, Painting with Playful Curvilinear Lines and Shapes. Now in this course, I'm going to not only show you the technique of using lines to create shapes, but I'm going to show you how to create interesting and beautiful underpaintings. These underpaintings are done with layers and layers of paint. So you're going to bring out uh, such an interest from the first layer all the way through to the last layer. I'm going to show you how to create a center of interest, how to, how to quiet some spaces. We've done in this painting some splatters. Um, we've done, we've brought when we've added the uh, paint into the lines of the final painting, we've taken those same colors and gone back in on the underpainting and enhanced the underpainting. I also show you how to add on this painting, it's a lot of the same thing, just playing with the underpainting a little bit differently, adding a little bit different, some drips, some alcohol, but on this painting, I add Scrofito. Now Scrofito is a lot of fun, so I wanted to show you a couple paintings that I've done to kind of still give you an idea of other paintings you can do. Because my hopes are when you go through this course that you not don't just copy everything I'm doing, copy the technique and then bring it into your artistic style. This is your artist's journey. This journey will be yours that you'll just keep growing and growing and playing with. So take these techniques and create other paintings. For instance, this one has a lot of the, the lines and the shapes that are very small, very close together, of course, with a scraffito. This is a painting where a lot of the lines and um, the spaces are done in a very quiet corners. The majority of the painting is the underpainting. Of course, you see some more of the lines underneath, but there's layers and layers of the underpainting. But the interest in this are the quiet areas. This is an example of a painting with a lot of the underpainting. You'll see a lot of the drips, which are done with the alcohol that I show you how to do. And this painting uses a composition of the crucifix. So this has a lot of the same technique as the first painting with a lot of the underpainting. The paintings that you create don't all have to be uh, as busy as maybe the two that I've done. This is an example where lying has become the focal point, so that the underpainting is very soft and muted, soft colors, but the lines that are created that form the different shapes are the focal point of this painting. So I hope you will join me on this journey. I hope you will make this um, your artistic journey and I hope you learn a lot from the course so let's get started let's have some fun